Hi there, it's uh, Dave Wilkinson here from DH Fitness. I want to shoot a, a very short video here to explain the difference between an exercise when you're trying to build muscle or tone up your muscles. Um, this is a kind of old phrase that we use at the minute is not all exercises are created equal. And this is very, very important to understand because if you're doing an exercise to aim to build muscle and bulk muscle, what's most important is actually tightening the tension. I see a lot of people when they arrive to get the GH fitness at the studio and train, or whenever I go to the gym to work out myself, and you see people, men and women, doing an exercise, lifting weights, and kind of just pushing the reps out at kind of whatever speed you think it's comfortable with. Now, that is ineffective for building muscle. Yes, you might see when you go to the gym and, for example, doing a chest press, which I'm going to show you in a second, and you get on the weight and you lift it out and you do what, 10 to 12 reps, and you're getting stronger. So every, every week, every couple of months, you're improving your weight and lifting more weight, but you're not actually seeing any increase in your muscle size. Okay, so this is very, very important to kind of get your head around. Not all exercises create equal. So let's say, for example, you get on the, on the bench or, or whatever you're doing, you do the chest press exercise, and you get your dumbbells and you kind of like, uh, a barbell, whatever you're using, you kind of just take the weights down, push them up, take the weights down, push them up. Let's say you do 10 or 12 reps, and let's say it takes you 30 seconds to do that. Well, if you're doing only 30 seconds for each exercise, you're not actually in the muscle hypertrophy range, which is what you need to be to build muscle. Muscle hypertrophy range is anywhere between 45 and 60 seconds in exercise. I'm going to show you how to do that with the correct rep range and the correct speed of tempo. And this is what everybody is missing, or at least 90% of people are missing from the workout, is tempo. They're all concerned about how many reps, how many sets, what exercise should I do, um, how much recovery, what weight should I lift. That's actually not that massively important as opposed to what tempo is. So let me show you over here. It's easy to show them to you. So let's say we do a chest press. I'm just going to go nice and easy, grab some light dumbbells. I'm going to just come over here. So let's say we get the, the chest press exercise. We go down, get in the right position. We start at the top. Right. This is tempo for chest press. You go down on the eccentric for three seconds. So it's down. One, two, three. You hold at the bottom for a second, which helps to load up the pectoral muscles. Then you push up. One, two. So you go a little bit faster on the concentric contraction. So let's show it again. So it's down. One, two, three. Hold at the bottom for a second. The reason you hold the bottom for a second is so you don't bounce into the exercise and use your traps to push up. This way you load the pecs. Then the weight goes up. One, two. You keep the dumbbell slightly turned in so it doesn't overstretch the chest muscles. Don't, sorry, it doesn't over push the shoulder muscles. So if I was performing at this speed, I would perform anywhere between 8 to 10 reps at this type of speed. This way, I'm actually putting the muscles under time and tension. Think of the difference if I'm just going, there's no time and tension there, I'm using the momentum, I'm bouncing the exercise. Here I'm under control, I'm really loading the muscles, I'm having to be strong and I'm having to really work against it, yeah? Dead, dead simple. So that's your chest press exercise, one of the big compound movements with the chest shows and triceps. The next exercise I'm going to show you, because it's very, very common in the gym, is squats. A lot of people now will get more into squats, but a lot of people will start doing barbell squats. And what they tend to find is that they actually don't have the strength in their core to be able to cope with putting the weight on the back. Okay, and this is, I'm going to show you how we're much more effective is to what we call a goblet squat. Or sorry, it was a front-loaded squat, which is going to be more effective. I'm going to show you the tempo range that you do for that, and how to hold the dumbbell, how to get the most out of it, and get your range. So again, I'm just going to pick something nice and light to start with, okay? You can use a dumbbell here, or a kettlebell. This is the tempo range for a squat, whether or not on your front, or your back, or whatever you do. If you want to hypertrophy your muscles, okay, we're not talking about strength here, we're talking about building muscle, this is the range, okay? So it's down for three. Down one, two, three. I get nice and deep. Okay, I've got to get below 90 degrees to really get the glutes worked in. I'm going at the bottom. 
one, two, and you kind of power through the squat on the way up, or you can take your time coming up, it's up to you. But you've got to get at least six to seven seconds in the squat. So I might take a little bit longer going down, I might go down for four. So I go one, two, three, four, go down to the heels, one, two, drive up. Okay, so I'm really powering through the concept of contraction. Holding the dumbbell underneath, hold under there. This way, if I perform anywhere between 8 to 10 reps, all the body weight is loaded in the front, so I'm really happy to work and engage my core. Squat exercise is absolutely perfect for building the quads, the hamstrings, and the glutes. Also, by using the goblet squat exercise, I'm getting a lot more core work in there, so I'm getting a lot more abdominal work and a little bit of lower back work. Those exercises, they're the first two in the series that I'm going to show you how to tempo load and how to do exercise correctly to build muscle, burn fat, and get your whole routine working effectively. That's our first and sole from Train Like an Athlete program. Thank you.